Marco Torres is the founder of MarketingBoost.com. He has helped thousands of business owners worldwide boost sales and scale their businesses by as much as fivefold through the use of incentive-based marketing. Listen to his tips and strategies and how a podcaster can use incentive to boost their business and increase sales. Remember to go to marketingboost.com forward slash podcast to get to get your first month membership to Marketing Boost for $1. That's marketingboost.com forward slash podcast. This is Tools of the Podcast Trade, where you can learn about the tools and resources you can use to start and grow your podcast. Tune in each week as we talk about the help you need to remove the mystery from podcasting so you can become a soft podcast and reach your audience where they are. My guest today is Marco Torres, expert in the power of using incentives to sell more without discounting, among other things. Welcome, Marcos. Thank you for having me, Jennifer. Pleasure to be here. Sure. Thank you for coming and talking to us today. Now, my first question is always, tell us who Marco Torres is. (laughs) Well, Marco Torres is also known as Captain Marco. I don't know if your audience is watching the video today, but I got my fishing shirt on. I'm ready to go fishing after this call. Oh, awesome. But I like sailing or boating or fishing, so I'm always out on the water as often as I can. I've been an entrepreneur uh, most of my life since I was the age nine. I started a huge paper out. By the time I was 12, I was featured on the front page of the local newspaper for building the biggest paper out. By age 23, I owned five restaurants and a nightclub. I went on to work in the corporate world for a few years as well and back in business for myself. And overall, in my entire career, I've generated over a billion dollars in sales for my businesses or my clients. What else? I've, so I've been around. I've been an internet marketer since before, since 1996. So I've been a very early adapter of internet marketing, email marketing, back when everybody had an AOL account, you know, been here since before Facebook and Google and whatever. So I've watched the evolution of the internet and internet marketing strategies. So I might be able to give a few value bombs to your listeners on things they can do to grow their audience, to acquire more clients, to generate testimonials, number of ideas I can share. Okay, we appreciate that. What drives you though? I mean, you've been going at this for a very long time and a lot of us burn out. The stats is that uh, um, up to episode 10, most podcasters fail. So what drove you? Okay, well, that's a good question. Yeah, I've, I have, uh, I've burned out a few times in my career, but I've also, I'll also, I have also reinvented myself and come back as, you know, Swinging something new. Right now, when it comes to to my current passion is we developed a business called Marketing Boost and launched it in 2017. And marketingboost.com is a, a tool that what we do is we help, and this is my passion, I help business owners around the world of all kinds, all niches, including podcasters, that are using our uh, travel incentives for Marketing Boost to help acquire more clients I use it for referral programs. I'll get into more of that in a moment. But Marketing mm-hmm. Boost is essentially a subscription plan and that allows our members that are subscribed to Marketing Boost the ability to give away an unlimited amount of three different categories of incentives that we offer that can be used in a myriad of ways, which we'll talk about on the show. But essentially, we offer complimentary hotel stays in over 125 destinations around the world three night stays in places like Las Vegas, Orlando, Branson, Missouri, Myrtle Beach, Daytona Beach, Miami. We offered uh, 30 U.S. destinations, places like five nights in Mexico and Cancun and Puerto Vallarta, Cabo San Lucas, Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, five nights in Hawaii, seven nights in places like Phuket, Thailand or Bali. We have destinations all over Europe and Australia. And so we're a worldwide company now that provides these incentives for for business owners to be able to stand out from the crowd and run contests, run engagement promotions, loyalty programs. We also have hotel savings cards that come in increments of $100, $200, $300, $500 discounts compared to the Expedias of the world and restaurant savings vouchers. So those are the three categories of incentives. 
And then what we do is teach our members how to use those in different ways to, to do the things I've been talking about, such as acquire, you know, lead, lead generation ideas, using them on social media platforms to as viral contests to generate engagement, uh, to get people to come to a webinar and stay till the very end. I know people that use these incentives to uh, get people to, you know, listen to their podcasts. At the end of their podcast show, they're giving away, if they're, especially if they're live, they're giving away the uh, some of the incentive, maybe an incentive or two when they take action during the live call, for example. Uh, so I could go on with Jennifer on ideas on that, but with and without the marketing boost incentives on how to grow your business. Okay. So you, you say offering incentives help businesses to attract new customers. Is that what you're saying? Exactly. Exactly. So when we launched this business, uh, what we were trying, the reason this whole business even came about, let me tell the story a little bit because it might make some sense. Mm -hmm. We needed to generate, we were in a travel space for, for decades and I've been in travel since 1983. And we, we, when we launched our own and along with my partners and I, we launched our own travel site in 2009. And by 2011 or 12, it was really growing very, very fast, but we needed, we wanted video testimonials from our clients so that we could leverage these video testimonials on our website and show people at the resorts, at the beach, at the pool, at the bar. And we were like, what could we do to get people to actually film selfie testimonials and send them to us? So we came up with an idea. And mind, mind you, this idea, Jennifer, any one of the, your listeners that has a business of their own or a podcast or what have you could use a similar idea to, to grow their business. And what we needed, we started doing a survey when we thought our clients mm -hmm. would be the happiest, which would typically be the, you know, a few hours after check-in or the next day after check-in at the hotel. So we'd send them an email and a text message right after check-in or a day after check-in and say, hey, how is the hotel living up to your expectations? How is how is our service so far? Would you get, rate us on a scale of four, you know, one to five? And if they gave us a four or five, our automated platform would send them an email and a text message saying, fantastic, we're thrilled that you're having a great time and you love the hotel. Please, would you help us? Would you do us a huge favor and help us share the word about that hotel brand and about our brand? And if you would film a video testimonial from the pool, the beach, the you know, the, the bar, whatever is your favorite part of the resort, do a selfie video and brag about the hotel brand and our brand, and we'll reward you with a complimentary hotel stay. And that took off. You know, and by the way, if they didn't give us a four or five, if they gave us a three or a two, we wanted to know that as well. Uh -huh. Because if they weren't happy, that gave us the opportunity to let them vent with us for us to see if we could get involved, to see if we could fix the problem. Mm -hmm. And um, if we could, then we, then we could go back and ask them for a, a review or testimonial again. But by only asking the ones that gave us a four or five, we were making sure we were generating, you know, hundreds of positive reviews that we were leveraging all over our website. And anybody who wasn't super thrilled, we had the opportunity to fix the problem before they went and wrote a negative review. Because we also know that if you don't solicit reviews, you're only going to get the negative ones because most people <laughs> don't bother, you know, most people don't bother to write a review yeah. unless they're unhappy. So yeah. by soliciting, the, by doing a survey, you can find out who loves your brand already, and then you're going to ask those people to do a video testimonial and, and then spread those all over, you know, all over the Internet. So with that, you can control and, and your online reputation. Anyway, we started giving away hundreds of these complimentary hotel stays in exchange for a video review. And then we mm -hmm. had those video. We turned into thousands. We now have over 30,000 video testimonials all over some of our websites. And as those people started to raise their hands saying, hey, we want our free trip that you offered us. Now we had to go into our pockets to pay for those free rooms. And that was expensive, but it was still worth it because of all we, the, we were leveraging those reviews. Mm -hmm. But now we had to come up with an idea. We're scratching our head. How could we get these rooms for free? So we went back to our hotel partners and we said, look, we know you've got a problem that we can solve. Your hotels are never full year round. They're full, you know. 70% of the year, we know that 30% of your rooms go empty. Of course, you're full on some weekends, holidays, peak season, 4th of July, Christmas week, Easter. But other than that, you've got empty rooms most of the year. So we convinced a few of them, and especially in Orlando and Vegas where we started, to give us their, let us help them fill those rooms with warm bodies, with couples, with families that were going to spend money at the restaurant, bar, pool, spa, casino, room service, etc. you know, gift shop. 
and they'd get some revenue versus no revenue. And they agreed. And before you knew it, we said, wow, this is great. Now we're fulfilling all of the, the certificates we were giving away. We thought, if we could if we could get hundreds of resorts around the world to participate with this, we could turn it into an a, entire business all by itself, which is what we did. It eventually it became called marketingboost.com. So we created a win-win-win, a win for the resorts because we're helping them fill rooms that would have gone empty. And the client is paying or somebody's paying the government taxes because they get their cut no matter what. So mm -hmm. somebody checks into the hotel, the government expects to get paid the tourism and the hotel taxes. So that's covered in what we call an activation fee. The hotel wins, the government wins, the marketing boost member wins because they get the ability to give away an unlimited amount of high value, perceived value incentives as part of their calls to action. The client wins because they're getting a free room other than paying the government taxes. So we teach our members, all you got to do is give a, a proper disclosure. When you give away these free trips, you're saying basically, hey, I'm going to give you a free, a free hotel stay. You're on the hook for your own airfare, your own transportation to the resort. You got to pay the government taxes and your own food and beverage. And by disclosing that, you've essentially covered the details. And then the client logs in. They have 18 months to travel, no timeshare presentations or anything like that, no hoops to jump through. When we got in this business, we said, if we're going to do it, we're going to do it better than anybody else, which is what we've done. And now we have thousands of business owners around the world that use our service. And next, Jennifer, if you'd like, I can give you more specific ideas on how podcasters could use these incentives. Okay, so that was my next question, because it does sound good, and travel is hot right now. So <laughs> so how can um, podcasters specifically leverage these incentives to help them boost their revenue and audience? Need a way to jumpstart your podcast? Do you ever need some traction? You know, sometimes it's not easy starting your own business and a podcast may be the first thing that appears in your mind when you want to really get your word out there on your business, on whatever idea you're trying to build on. But starting a podcast requires a lot of resources, time, and effort. Now, with the Podcubator Accelerator Pro, this could help you. Now, this is a mentoring program that helps new and aspiring podcasters launch and grow their podcast. So what are you waiting for? Because 90% of podcasters fail after three episodes. Do you know why? Because they don't have the guidance and support. So this is highly recommended that you try the Podcubator Accelerator Pro. Because you get one-on-one -on -one mentoring with a professional podcaster. You get monthly coaching sessions. You get exclusive access to online courses and tutorials. And even a private community of podcasters for networking and support. So what are you waiting for? Because you need to start your podcasting journey today. Hi, this is Jen. I'm really excited about Podcubator Accelerator Pro. So if you're interested, click the link below and book a one-on-one -on -one call with me, or you can fill out the application form to see if you're a great fit. So don't pod fade, get a mentor. Sure. So yeah. great question. And you're right about one thing. Travel is finally back again. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, during COVID, we, we instead of giving people 18 months to use the incentives, we extended it to 24 months to use the incentives. So that worked. People continued to give them away. People continued to activate them. Yes, we had less people using them during the last two years of lockdowns and stuff. But now, my God, it's like I can, I've never seen anything like it. It's like revenge travel. Everybody <laughs> wants to go somewhere. They're tired of being locked down. Yeah. If it's drive to destinations. So, you know, with 125 destinations around the world, we've got options, you know. So mm -hmm. so they're very, very popular now, better than I've, more than I've ever seen used. So now is the best time ever to be using these incentives to help engage your clients. Now, about podcasters, for example, I've got, I know one, I've got, you know, one that comes to mind is a, a pretty uh, big podcaster named Brian Kelly. And he, what he does is he, as he announces the up and coming of uh, show with, you know, he's doing promotions. Hey, next week on Thursday, we're doing a live show with, you know, so-and-so. And he says, join this live show. And he does a lot of live, you know, shows. And mm -hmm. then he obviously broadcasts the recording as well. But he's promoting people to join the live show where he's going to be giving away a five-night trip to Cancun, Mexico, live on the show. So don't miss the show. One of you is going to win the trip to Cancun. 
and then he might run contests as well to to you know during the show or at, or even for the recorded process. Hey, if you would share this with you know if you'll uh, share this show with you know five of your friends or relatives, you're going to get a chance to win. So you can create these these promotions mm-hmm. to get mm-hmm. people to share it with other people to get or to solicit a review on on you know if hey post a review about us on on Apple Podcast or on this podcast or. Or if you'll post, you know, a review on these three different platforms, I'm going to reward you with a complimentary hotel stay in your choice of, of Las Vegas or Orlando. So these are just, you know, some of the ideas you could be using to use for referrals. You might ask for if, you know, a lot of podcasters actually have other products and services to sell as well. And so now that's where when people are, you know, booking appointments, you can be using you know, a lot of us are selling selling something on our shows and we're asking people to book an appointment with me, no obligation, phone call, and let's talk about how if we're a good fit for each other. Yeah. So you might use a hotel savings card or a restaurant voucher to in, to during your show to say, by the way, book an appointment with me, no obligation appointment, and I'm going to give you a $100 restaurant savings voucher just for booking the appointment and, of course, showing up on time for your appointment. We all know that Nowadays, we're all using Zoom like crazy to book these appointments and make presentations. But then somebody books an appointment, you log in, you're all ready to make your sales presentation. And guess what? Nobody yeah, shows so. up. Yeah. So now you're talk, you've got nobody to talk to. These incentives can be used to help people show up for the appointment. So you could say, yeah. I'm going to give you a $100 hotel savings card just for showing up on time for the appointment you book. We know your time is valuable. We think ours is as well. So we're going to reward you if you show up on time with a you know, $200 hotel savings card. And then once you've got them on the phone and you make your presentation, you might now use the uh, a higher gift, like a five nights in Cancun, Mexico, with with uh, a bigger call to action, such as, okay, you know, if you hire me to do your business coaching, here's what I do. I pr- We do business coaching. We help you build your own podcast. We help you, whatever it is you do. Now you can come back and say, it's going to take a little while to get the job done. So if you hire us for a minimum of 90 days, on the anniversary of 90 days, I'm going to give you a complimentary, or maybe you say, maybe you say, if you hire us for six months, you can cancel any time. It's a month to month deal. However, if you stick yeah. with me for six months and you let me be your, your, your business coach, you let me hold your hand, you let me hold you accountable. I'm going to train you, teach you, coach you. And at, at the six month anniversary, I'm going to reward you with a six day, five night trip to Cancun, Mexico on us. So now you can dangle that carrot as the mm-hmm. loyalty program to stick with you, you know, and then during that course of your six months, you're going to keep reminding them, by the way, pretty soon you're going to get six days and five nights in Cancun. So you're <laughs> using these incentives, yeah. for example, as a tool to, to keep them engaged, keep them involved, or to generate referrals or to ask for a video testimonial. There's a myriad of ideas that you can use. And by the way, a, a membership to Marketing Boost, uh, Jennifer, is only $37 a month. So this is not like a high ticket item, like, oh, it sounds amazing. How much does it cost? Mm -hmm. (laughs) $37 a month and it gives you the ability to give away an unlimited amount of these incentives. Now, Jennifer, regardless of whether you use marketing boost, I do want to share this with your listeners. The key here is add value to whatever Mm -hmm. your offer is, whether you use marketing boost or not. I mean, yeah, I've been making kind of a sales pitch for marketing boost, but the key is find ways to add value. And many of you can do this with your own widgets, your own bonus, your own your own additional value, such as if you hire me for six months, I'm going to give you the seventh month free. If you, I'm a, I'm a multi-level marketer. You know what, if you, if you are whatever you're, you know, you're a a gym, you might say, you know, at the, at the, after the quick start program, I'm going to put you on a 90 day quick start program. We're going to put you through this and that you follow the diet, we follow the exercise program, whatever it is. And at the end of 90 days, when you lose that 15 pounds goals that we have for each other, for you, if you hit those goals and you do everything I ask you to do in 90 days, I'm going to reward you with, you know, two more months of my service free or what have you. Or you might plug in your products and services and one of the marketing boost incentives to really make that carrot sound attractive. If that makes yeah. sense, Jennifer. Of course it does. I mean, and it's a brilliant. It's a brilliant plan using a very hot merchandise, you know. And I could see where you could use it in on a platform like Patreon to incentivize your, you know, your membership on Patreon. So that's pretty cool. I I love it. Thank you. 
No, you're very welcome. And there's so many, I mean, I've got people, some people have, I've, had, I've helped people that have subscription models. Listen to this story. I had a guy that had, he had hundreds of people paying him $97 a month for his team, for access to his tips and when to buy and sell and trade stock and cryptocurrencies. He had a big team of guys. He has a big team of people in in, in India that, that are doing analytics of all these things and they're coming up with when to buy and sell. They prove people they can make a little more money with him. Mm -hmm. And so they were paying him 97 a month with, a, he, he built this big following on Telegram. And then he started doing marketing boost promotions where he would say, hey, if you step up and pay for six months in advance to our gold plan, we will reward you with your choice of three nights in Las Vegas or Orlando. And if you pay for 12 months in advance, we're going to reward you with six days and five nights in your choice of Cancun or Hawaii. And he had over 300 of them step up and pay for the annual plan. Another 150 paid for six months plan. Uh, instead of discounting his annual plan, he got the full price plus the, the bonus trip that didn't cost right. him anything. And he ended up making almost $500,000 in four days with that one promotion. Now yeah. that's part of his ongoing process. After mm -hmm. they pay him 97 a month for a while, and he shows that his service is of value. Then he asks them to step up and pay for the six month or the annual plan to save money and more importantly, get the bonus. And boom, he's you know generating a lot more revenue. So there's just a ton of different ways to, you know, use these to revive an old dead database, run contests, build a large Facebook group following by running viral contests. I can keep going and going and with ideas. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Thank you very much. I appreciate you sharing so liberally. I appreciate it. You. What is Marco co grateful for today? What am I grateful for today? Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful, sunny, shiny day in Florida. I'm happy to be above ground and I'm happy that in a little while here, I plan on getting out and going for a swim, maybe get the boat going. So yeah, the long days of spring and summer are starting to come here where the sun doesn't go down until eight o'clock. Later on in the summer, it'll be till nine o'clock. So I'm grateful that it's such beautiful weather, beautiful day. Amen. Thank you very much for sharing. And before I let you go, could you give one piece of advice to a podcaster? Uh, as you know, imposter sin syndrome is our number one disease. <laughs> so if you could give us one piece of advice as we move forward and monetizing our podcast and, you know, getting a service like yours to help us. And don't forget to tell us also how we can get in touch with you. Cool. So here's a tip, a piece of advice that, that I think many of us entrepreneurs, podcasters, you know, we're, we're, we, we make the mistake of, of trying to do everything ourselves. We make the mistake that like, well, nobody can do this better than me. So I have to do it all. Or, or you're on a tight budget. So you still feel like, well, I got to do it all because I can't afford to hire anybody, but it's a huge mistake. You've, mm -hmm. you've got to, to, but to figure out a way to anything that you do over and over every day means you should be able to turn that into a business process and outsource that. Find somebody to help you do it. Get some virtual assistance, either locally or somewhere else in the world that can help you. Anything from helping book your speakers to getting you booked on other podcasting shows to, to editing your podcast, trying to do it all yourself means that you're going to, if you're thinking like a small business and you're going to stay a small business with that mindset. So you've got to surround yourself with people that are, that are smarter, better, and sharper than you and hire people that are, you know, experts in, in different fields. You know, you're an expert at this. I'm going to hire you for that. And little by little, by, you're going to be able to look at things from 30,000 feet above looking down and manage your business, not just work for it. So that's my tip for the day. How to get a hold of me and find me, go to marketingboost.com. Simple as that. They do have a, a, a offer for your listeners. If you go to marketingboost.com forward slash podcast, you can get Marketing Boost for 30 days for $1 marketingboost.com forward slash podcast gets you 30 days of marketing boost for $1 or you can sign up for a seven day free trial anytime at marketingboost.com and get a free trial for seven days. I'd recommend give yourself a free trip to Cancun first. We really just bought, brought on recently some amazing resorts in Cancun, the five, they're triple A, four diamond resorts. 
just unbelievable beachfront resort, 15 bars and restaurants, super value. And give yourself the trip. Check us out. Become an evangelist for our brand and then use our incentives to get evangelists for your brand. Okay. Thank you very much, Marco Torres, for coming and talking to us today. I really appreciate you. And don't forget that we put the, those links in our show notes. Uh, don't forget to check that out, Marco Torres, uh, uh, marketingboost.com. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you. Got questions about podcasting? Do you find yourself struggling with the tools and strategies that you know will help you launch and grow your show? Why not join the New West Podcasters Club where you can get your questions answered by me or one of our guest experts? The link to our next meeting is below. Sign up today and don't let confusion about podcasting stop you from owning your genius. Whether you're an individual or a nonprofit, the New West Podcasters Club is where podcasters come for answers. Link below for our next meeting.